gross. Gross. This is fucking gross. I need 250 of you on Patreon. So I can afford a medical weed license. And if you can't do that, then subscribe to the channel. I need a thousand subscribers so I can enable a super chat so we can, you know, get some shit going here. That's it. 250 patrons, a thousand YouTube subscribers. That's all. A dollar a month, no tears, content you're going to get. Radio style show. I don't know what that exactly is going to be yet. Bonus content material. Behind the scenes of DIYs of making clothes and shit like that. It's going to be fucking sick, dude. So, if you enjoy my content, do me the favor and subscribe to the channel. And check out the Patreon. A dollar a month, no tears. The following program is intended for mature audiences. Laughing at birds. been gone for a few days dude and the reason why is because my life is a complete mess everything everybody wanted to leave at once you ever have that happen dude like I, I expect I don't expect everybody to stay at the party until we all die but not really expecting everyone to rush out the door at the same time either last month and you call the regular doctor, dude, right, for an appointment to get checked out, which I had to go back. I made it through. I thought I did. I thought I made it. I thought I fucking made it, dude, and it got me. It, as you can probably hear, I sound like shit. I don't feel good. And it's not the fucking corona, man. You don't know that. You're not a doctor. Yeah, look, maybe not. I'm not a doctor. But I get the same sick every fucking year between November and February. Every fucking year I get hit somewhere in between those months, dude. It is exactly what it is right now. Every year it happens without fail. So let me, let me get back to that story. This is going to be a long one. This is going to be a long one, so, you know, work with me here, dude. Call the fucking doctor. The doctor has left the practice. The doctor we usually see has left the practice. I mean, if you really want the whole story, I got to go all the way back further than that, which I'm not going to do, I realize. Let me give you the cliff notes here. Started seeing this doctor... I don't know, early 2000s, right? Main dude that runs the practice and his wife are basically the OGs of the joint. They work maybe a couple of days out of the week and then they send other doctors and nurse practitioners out to do their bidding while they go do whatever the fuck it is that rich doctors do. That don't believe in medicine, by the way. Why are you practicing Western medicine in fucking America if you don't believe in medicine, dude? What do you, what do you, what do you, what is that? What even is that? I don't understand. Why would you? It doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense, dude. It really doesn't. Anyway, anyway. 
they had a dude that was working for them for a while. It was a Russian guy. He wasn't. He wasn't with it. It wasn't with it completely. I mean, this dude would walk around on Vicodins and 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 volumes, and that's not that's not speculation. That's a statement of fact because he made sure to tell you that oh, I shouldn't have taken a volume with this Vicodin. I'm pretty fucked up right now. Like the uh, all right, <laughs> like I guess. I guess it's got everybody. I guess it got everybody, right? What are you going to do? Even the doctor's like, oh, fuck it, I'll write for myself. So this dude turns out to be a fucking, he's, he's a pill mill, dude. This guy is selling fucking, I mean, it's it's so obvious. It's disgusting, you fucking junkies, dude. You, you don't even try. You don't even try. And he's like, what are, what are you what are you here for? Oh, I'm in severe pain, dude. You would never believe it if I told you. It, it, I'm hurting so bad right now. I could I could kill myself. I'm, it's it's a struggle every day not not to hang myself. Meanwhile, you're fucking straight face. Nothing's going on. We know that that's not true, dude. You're sitting up straight when you sit. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're a bait. All right, sure, dude. Whatever you say, buddy. Point is this, dude. The guy obviously is not smart about it when he's got fucking people showing up who clearly don't. The only issue that they have is is, is trying to hide their their fucking pinned up pupils. That's that's. That's the only issue they got. You know, I didn't just get, I didn't just come back from the eye specialist. I'm just fucked up on perks right now. Anyway, dude apparently got wrapped up with the DEA because they wound up coming and looking for him because the dude disappeared on a lunch break, bro. I'm not even, I, I wish I was making this up. But I'm not, and it's it would be so much cooler if I knew more about the story, like if I was involved in a drug ring somehow, and I was like second in command, you know, I, I dried the ink on the prescription paper. <laughs> uh, but I wasn't, and it's not, so yeah. Anyway, that dude wound up disappearing, he got open cases with the DEA, right? So... Then this other lady comes in. Now, she's what they call a nurse practitioner. Now, what that means is she has all the signs and symptoms of being a doctor, except she doesn't do doctor shit. Like, she can write you prescriptions for a limited number of things. I'm trying to think of... I'm trying to think of what I could compare this to. Because there's other things... There's other things in the world... Fuck, dude, it's like, it's like right, it's like right there, dude, you know? Fuck me, son of a bitch. I don't know. I mean, obviously, the only thing I have in my side of you is a car, so looking at it makes you think mechanic. That really doesn't do it, though. Fuck. You know, I can't think of anything, dude. It's just basically... Like, everything up to... Everything up to a certain level of sickness. Like, basic cold, cough, fever, fucking... Flu, shit like that. They can they can do that. They're not gonna be figuring out what the Ebola looks like anytime soon. Although I do, I do have a story about fucking shingles <clears throat> getting quarantined in the hospital motherfuckers making me think I was gonna die for real which I did the most irresponsible thing you could do but sometimes you have to take your life into your own hands and realize that these doctors are gonna kill you if you give them the chance so you gotta leave I'm getting getting sidetracked here the, the point is nurse practitioner only does certain shit in other words, she ain't prescribing painkillers. Now, it doesn't help that this dude gets called up for selling prescription pills when I'm on prescription pills. That ain't very good for me. Also, it's not very good for me that I happen to hang around 
couple people that might be considered like criminals in, into some things, right? Now they get their surveillance on all the time, right? I got surveillance on me all the time, not because I'm a big deal, but because the cops are bored and they got nothing better to do, so why not focus on me instead? See, I don't want anybody ever getting confused. I tell these things and, and, and people think like, Dude, you got caught for three grams of weed. It's not a big deal. No, it, it's not. And there, there are people that would laugh at that hard until they cry. Just like that's so cute that you think you're a criminal with a little bag of weed. The fuck out of here, smack you on your ass, dude. Fuck off. But the cops didn't think it was so funny. They were just like, "Oh, cool. That gives us a reason." One of these days, I have to go into this whole thing because it's a huge backstory, and the problem is that it involves other people's lives, and I need to leave that shit alone because, one, I don't know what I'm talking about, and for two, ain't my business, and for three, I should only be talking about my own fucking life. So, there's that. But anyway, so the doctor ain't prescribing painkillers, right? So... She opts out of doing it. Now I gotta look around. Find a new one. Who are you? How much you wanna bet? How much you wanna bet? Hello? Exactly. Every time. Every time I actually pick it up, it's nobody. But when I don't pick it up, then they leave voicemails. So this fucking doctor leaves, dude. Right, the one guy gets caught over the DEA. The nurse practitioner rolls in. Now, the reason why I bring her up is because she wound up staying in the practice for a few years after this. Now... I wind up finding a different doctor, pain management doctor, which becomes a whole ordeal in and of itself. We'll get to that eventually because we're going to have to circle back around. Point is this. Nurse practitioner just recently, like when I say recently, I mean the last month, called the doctor's office to get an appointment and they go, oh, the doctor's not here anymore. I'm like, what do you mean? Oh, she doesn't work in this practice any longer. You're like, oh fuck! Well, we didn't, we didn't know that. What are we, what are we supposed to do now? Oh, well, so all her patients are getting, you know, uh, piled up, and we're gonna have to figure it out. Okay, well, what does that mean for? What does that mean for us and our medicine, and you know, being sick and all that? They're like, well, we're gonna. This was a whole this was a whole thing. I'm condensing a lot. The appointment being made, the fucking you have to come into the office even though there's a pandemic and then what if you think you're sick, don't come into the office because we're taking per it's a, it's a whole thing. I'm condensing as much as I can here, man. I'm condensing as much as I can. The lady says, "She ain't here no more." We're going to have to do this over the phone. Fast forward into a whole bunch of shit, right? We're going to do this over the phone. Your medicines are not in my wheelhouse. This is a new nurse practitioner now. Now, remember, they don't prescribe narcotics or anything like that. For years, I've been prescribed Percocet Soma. For years. This started... See, I can't tell you all this without having to go all the way back to the beginning, which would take way too long. I don't have that kind of time. All right, quickest way I could do this. I've been in and out of hospitals my entire life, dude. My entire life has been being presented in front of a doctor. I, my entire life, I've been put in front of another human being, and they've said, take a look at him, and you tell us what you think is wrong with him because we can't figure it out. So then that might explain to you how this doesn't seem like that it's I never realized to like right this second how this makes sense now when they they pretty much have done that to me my whole life what's wrong with them I don't know can you figure it out you have a coat on 
Can you see what's going on here? I mean, I don't know, dude. There's a lot happening. I think we're going to need a bunch more than just one other doctor, though. Fuck me. Anyway, in and out of the hospital is my whole life, dude. The pain doesn't end. It doesn't end. And the problem is when you have pain like I have, and it's legitimate pain like it is, and you move how I move, and you talk how I talk, people seem to think that you're on a fucking binge for your whole life. And they don't understand that there are actually people with medical conditions that are, are not, we're not all aborted, contrary to popular belief. You know, some of us have made it. Some of us have made it, and, uh, you know, we're fucked up and, and we're hurting bad, you know? I don't need I don't need this judgment from motherfuckers when I go places. I know what I look like, dude. Do you have to judge me just based off of that? What happened to letting motherfuckers speak first? What happened to that? Everybody just automatically just help by how you look. I mean, I do it too. Of course, we all do it. So that, those those instincts save your life, man. But come on, you're supposed to be better than me. You're a doctor. But anyway, in and out of hospitals my whole life. Medicine, finding a doctor, you would think would be the easiest fucking thing in the world because I, I have MRIs, I have brain scans, I got x-rays, my physical appearance, come on, bro, I have it all. What do you need? What do you need? I get the paperwork for it, son. I have the passport of the fucking medical wing. I can go pretty much every fucking where. I need a brain specialist. I need an orthopedic, son. I need a back doctor. I, you know, my toes got some shit going on. I don't even know what the fuck the deal is over there. We ain't even going. Point is this, dude. It's been a long, rough thing. And I can understand how some people could say that look like a junkie or I sound like a drug addict or, you know, whatever. I get it. I get it. I get it. What am I going to do? Say I don't get it? I 100%. If I was you, I would think that too. Obviously, there's the difference that I would actually say that, whereas you would think it and not say it and then think you're a good person for not saying it when really I'm just saying what we both know to be true I bring all of this up because I'm telling you it's been difficult to find a fucking doctor who will write this cocksucker medicine which is why I got arrested for weed which is why I need to tell this whole story oh man we're gonna have to do it it's the only way is the only way. But that's not even why I came. I came in here to tell you about the, the channel changing, updating, what I want to do. You see what happens when you take a few days off, dude, to try to get your life together? Now so much is going on. I don't even know where to start. Okay, look. Just to finish out the first thing. I've been taking CBD for a while. Some of you guys have been around the channel for a minute, y'all know. A friend of mine introduced me to CBD. I've heard about it for years. I've been searching. I went to multiple vape shops and terrible places where you don't find actual anything. Spent hundreds of dollars, no doubt. Hundreds on CBD. All garbage products, passive every piss test, terrible. It's the first sign, it's the first sign that you're taking some bullshit is if you can pass a drug test, dude. The first thing, you're supposed to fail it. What do you mean? I, I need some shit in my system here so I know I'm doing the right thing. Taking the CBD for a while. Doctor says, you can take as much CBD as you want. Oh, and this is the pain management doctor now. I gotta finish. The primary, here's what happened. That doctor left. This doctor said, look, so much are not in my wheelhouse, right? I'm a nurse practitioner. I don't do narcotics. She goes, I'll talk to the main doctor and I'll see what's going on. If he's willing to prescribe you the medicine, then you'll get a month's supply and you'll have to lean yourself off. All right, cool. 
So they send it to the pharmacy and they only give me 30 pills, which I get 90 usually. But see, what they don't know is I already took myself off these fucking things like three months ago and didn't tell anybody. Nobody. I just did it. I just woke up one day and just decided, like, you know what, dude? Looking like I'm about to pass out half of the fucking time and and feeling like my muscle relief is re- being ready for a fucking nap. I'm, I'm done with that shit, dude. I'm not doing it. I'm done with it. I, I want to walk around like a coma patient for the little little time I have on this fucking planet, dude. Done. Just woke up and done. What if I get sick? Done. Doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. We'll figure it. If that's what it comes down to, then I'll figure it out. That didn't happen, though. Nothing. Not, I, just, I stopped taking it, and, and nothing happened. I mean, I was very uncomfortable for a while. You know what I mean? My muscles tightened up more than extra, I think. That was a big thing that was going on for a while, but I, I stopped taking it. Probably not the best way. But it's a good thing I did because look what they did. They only gave me 30 pills anyway, which I would have had a really hard time bringing myself off from fucking 90 pills a month to 30 pills in a month. That's a big difference. But So I've been taking a CBD. Because of that, my friend introduces me to the CBD. Now because of the CBD, I get off of the somas completely. Now in the same turn, within a month, I tell the pain management doctor, I'm going off the somas completely. That should be good because the whole time I've been in here, all these people have told me is how dangerous of a drug this is. Soma rhymes with coma. You're on a speedball of addiction. When I walked into this pain management doctor's office like five years ago, whatever it is, this one, I was on Klonopin's, somas. It was it was two milligrams of Klonopin in a day. I know. 350 milligrams of Soma three times a day and four fucking Perk 10s in a day. And that's not including that's not including the two allergy medications or the inhalers. That's just the pills alone. They're like, bro, you are on a speedball for addiction taking the Klonopin, the Soma, and the Percocet. Because... The stoma and the clonopin will give you that fucking sleepy, naughty feeling, and then the Percocet's supposed to keep you up, I guess. However the fuck it works, I don't know. I dropped the clonopin, the Xanax, the Valiums. I've tried it all, dude. None of this shit works. Sometimes you just gotta live with anxiety and get some panic attacks every now and then for a smoke of weed and just live with it. That's what you gotta do. The pills didn't do it for me. All the pills did was... I mean, no, they they helped for a while. When I was taking them, when I was really bad, they did help me through to be able to walk out my door and not have a heart attack thinking that, you know, the SWAT team is going to come and get me because I was all fucked up. We'll have to go into that sometime. You know, just not right this second. Anyway, going back to the doctors. Holy fucking shit. This lady says that she opts out. She gives me a 30 somas, right? Taking the CBD for a while. I go to the pain management doctor. I say, dude, I'm off the somas. I'm going to fill my last prescription. Come January, I'm just going to use the weed. Now, the pain management doctor already told me I have to choose between the perks and the weed. I can't have both. Despite how great it would be for my medical benefit, I can't have both. Not allowed. Not allowed. Despite the fact that there was a doctor in Massachusetts that found that uh, prescribing medical marijuana to his patients who were taking opioids, 75% of them, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm paraphrasing and rough guesstimating the article that I read like seven months ago, but... He gave it to his patients and like 75% of them cut down their opioid intake by more than half. So that means if they were taking four pills a day, four perk tens a day like me, they're down to taking two 
a day using the medical weed with the pills. If that's not a fucking victory, I don't know what the fuck is, dude. But anyway, tell the pain management doctor this. Pain management doctor now, since I started this CBD, we started with flour, bullshit, somebody bought, you know, shit got me sick, made literally physically fucking ill, made me puke, migraine, you know, the whole thing was a nightmare, dude. Tried vape pens, all garbage, all garbage. Lazarus Naturals, this company right here. This is legit. This is legit CBD. That will pop in a drug test all day, every day, I promise you. Because that's how I got here. But So, we're getting to that. I will break all this down one of these days, I swear to God, because I have to do it before... My memory gets really bad, and I don't remember any of it, because that's going to happen sooner or later. And I'm sure that there are a lot of cool stories that I probably have that I think are super lame situations to me, because I was there and experienced it. Maybe you'll get a kick out of it. But anyway, what was I on about? CBD. That's right. I tell the doctor this what it is. Pain management doctor goes... You can't have weed and pills. You gotta have only the pills or only the weed. I'm going to send you, and this is like five doctors ago. By the way, I've switched doctors in this practice like six times. I mean, I'm gonna count right now in my head. There's the Jewish lady. This is how I remember them. The guy that runs the place. His cunt wife. I can't stand that bitch, dude. And I don't care. How offensive it is to call her a cunt. She is a fucking cunt. Fuck that whore. Trying to say I got methamphetamines in my system, bro. I've never touched a methamphetamine in my life, dude. And I resent the fact that you would even suggest such a fucking thing. That I would do such a fucking thing. How dare you? I have fucking values and principles, goddammit. I would not do that. Now you made me lose count. I'm all fucked up here. Yep, yeah, alright, that's three. Four. I mean that she could have got it. She, that one doctor was was hot, but she was a cunt too, dude. Fuck her. This lady. That guy. Yeah, I think we're at least we're at least six doctors. At least six doctors. Seven, eight maybe. I've been switched the entire time. They all say the same thing. You got to do the do the pills or only the weed. Well, they're not treating me for MS. The reason why I go to this pain management doctor, the reason why I get these pills is not for the MS. It's not for the CP. It's for the herniated disc I have in my spine. The reason why I don't get treated for MS, I'm not making this up. This is a legitimate this is a legitimate argument that a doctor made to me. You could say you're in pain, but we don't know. There's no way for us to tell if you're lying or not. We can't, with a broken arm, we can point and we can go, enough people have had broken arms that we can prove basically where the pain is coming from. We can't prove you're in pain. How do we know you're just playing? Like, dude, that's legit. That's legit has happened. It's crazy. But the pain management doctor, I've been on for years. I've been getting random piss tested and pill counted for years. Anytime they want to, they can pick up the phone and they can say, or at least they used to be able to do this because they did it all the time. Pick up the phone on a random random Wednesday at 12 in the afternoon we need you to come in for a pill count well I I can't I'm doing something somewhere they're like okay cool then we'll just mark it down that you're being insubordinate and then you go on a fucking blacklist by the way anytime you don't do anything that they want you to do you get blackballed through the whole country if you fail a drug test, you get blackballed through the country. If you don't show up for 
a piss test if you don't show up for a pill count blacklisted to the entire country, which means you will never get a prescription written for you again by another doctor. That's how powerful this new system is now. They hold that over your head every single appointment because they want you to know you are their puppet and you will dance. They want you to know that. And you could say that doctors aren't like that all you want. You don't know these people. There are doctors that are legitimately, I think they just get off on the fucking power. And if I had a dollar for every time one of these people tried to put me under the knife for the same reason that every one of them has no idea what they're talking about because nobody knows. Come on, dude. Look, they tried to sell me on the weed program multiple times, multiple times. Doctors that were on the weed program were like, dude, you can't afford this. It's cool that you want to do it, and I think it would really benefit you, but you don't have the money to be able to afford medical weed. Stay on the fucking pills. I know you're young, and that's the other thing, too, I hear from everybody, is you're so young to be on all this medication. Young people shouldn't have all these problems. Diseases don't give a... Diseases are like R. Kelly, dude. They don't give a fuck about numbers. They don't give a fuck about numbers. They're just looking to piss on whatever they can. Whatever is dumb enough to agree to it. You ever been peed on by a pop star? No. What do you mean you don't have any interest in it at all? I'm R. Kelly, bitch. That's not what he would say. You can tell that I'm off because I'm not even funny today, dude. Like at all. At all. Ugh. Terrible. Gross. Can't afford it. We know that. They send me back to the pills. The doctors get mad that I'm still on the pills. I find the CBD. I take the CBD. I bring it in with me every fucking time. Matter of fact, just to prove my point. We're not fucking, we don't fucking play games around here. I don't know how you do things where you live, but this is how we fucking get down out here. I'm going to show you what made me broke for the month. This is not an ad read. This is what fucked me, but it's also saving my life at the same time. Massage oil, 50 milligrams. For a tablespoon. CBD lotion. Same deal. Pretty sure. Well this one's 50 for a teaspoon. You see that? And we got shit for everybody. Look, dog one and the cat one. This is their full spectrum. This is what the one with weed in it looks like for them. Uh, this is a little one. CBG, CBD mix. Hand sanitizing. Now this box fucking a lot of money. It's a lot of money, dude. This one wasn't this order was this. It was this this Or no, I'm sorry, it wasn't. It was only those two. 
Bottle of lotion. This was this order. It was an expensive one. But that's how this is what we got. We got hand sanitizer. Rub on if I can if I have it. If these if these two I think are both. This one might be open. It smells like mint. I gotta rub this shit on me some more. Save my fucking life, dude. For real. This is better than bio freeze and an icy hot, in my opinion. I'm going to review each of these things, but, you know, talk about the CBD and the fucking doctor, which let me get back on point. If I stick these in the box. You gotta make sure that you store this stuff in a cold, dry place. So I stick it in the coldest closet in the house. And it's nice and dark in there, so I don't have to worry about it. But, so they tell me I gotta choose one. My boy puts me up on this, dude. And I try it. And, honestly, it helped with the retention. That was the first thing that I noticed. The pills constipate you already. And, you know, I got issues... You know, with the muscle issues and everything, because the cerebral palsy and the fucking MS, you know, my shit's tightened. It's all over the place. So, you know, I have issues, but taking this shit seems to actually seems to actually help. It makes it easier for me to actually pee, so I'm not in in the bathroom ten, twenty times a, a fucking every five minutes. Or, you know, the second that we get somewhere, I gotta find where the bathroom is and stay close enough to it so that if I need to run in there, I can. This helps me to go more efficiently in one time. Or how about the fact that it gave me my fucking hands back, dude. Not gonna get all into it, but... Basically, it started at the house before we moved here. Was through mowing the lawn, we used to have. I realized that my hands were not was having trouble closing them. I guess it's arthritis. I don't know. Cause I feel like the dude in Sons of Anarchy. You know the one from Blade. You know the one that guy gets the shots in his hands. I think I have arthritis in my hands because I have a very hard time holding things. I lose my grip on them. Sometimes I can't feel them. Like inside, all here, it hurts even right now. I can't peel the potato. I mean, I was having a problem pulling clothes out of the fucking washer. I couldn't close my goddamn hands. This shit. This shit helps. You know, without this shit, dude, I don't know. I I know I would be in way worse shape than I am. It's not a miracle drug. It doesn't take care of everything completely, but it's definitely better than not having anything at all. I, I promise you that, dude, because the pills are not enough on their own. They're, they're just not. They're just not. Maybe they are for some people. For some people, maybe they work enough. Not for me. Just isn't enough, dude. What was I going to say, though? Oh, yeah, so I bring all this shit in. Every one of these. Every one of these, except for the massage oil I brought in. I've showed them every single thing. Every time she takes down the company name. And she writes it in big ass fucking letters, like 70, 70 size text letters, Lazarus Naturals. Uh, how much THC is in each of these things? I don't know. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. On the website, it says it has third party test results. I've read them before. I'm sure you can go and, and read them. It has at least 3%. 
minimum. You have to assume it has at least three percent because that's the the, the federal cap on it is point three percent, which is crazy. But I mean, you know. That's that's what it is. I don't know how much is in it, but when you're rubbing lotion on yourself, you're taking a CBG CBD tincture, CBD tincture, the bum, the bum, the rub on bum, and the fucking massage oil, all in one day. I'm sure it's gonna be, I'm sure it's gonna be pretty fucking present in my system. I I would hope fucking so. I would hope so, dude. Because I put this lotion on and the balm on three or four times a day. And I take at least 400 milligrams of the tincture. At, at least, if not more. I'm actually going to start, today I'm going to start keeping a, a journal, a, whatever you, a chart, a journal, whatever you want, want to call it, about when I take them. How much time do I see in between taking them? Do I need it again? And what is it helping with? That's something I'm going to start keeping a record of. But this shit is even with the discount I get. Which is a big reason why I fuck with this company. Because I do get a discount from them like 60%. But it's like nothing. Like dude, this, this box I just showed you. Cost us like 200 bucks. That's a fucking lot of money. That's a lot of money. But you can't put a price on pain relief. Even if it is only a little bit. There have been nights, dude, where I'm telling you. I would not have slept if I didn't have this shit to at least rub on. And get me comfortable enough in my uncomfortableness to be able to fall asleep. And I just realized this video is so goddamn long. Nobody's going to make it to the Patreon part. I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it in a couple of separate. I'm going to have to do it in separate ways. Because I get too much all over the place. Anyway, look. I just went into the pain management doctor's office. Not yesterday. The day before. Now, last month. Before the corona started breaking out again. She asked me, was I eating the weed? Was I smoking it? Every single time I see her, how much THC is in the thing? I don't know, man, right? So I just go in there this time, and she says, again, I guess, she goes, how much THC is in this CBD, really? And she gives me this look like, motherfucker, I know, you know, something is going on here. I'm like, look, I don't know. Does it matter? I'm up to Soma's completely now. So I'm just going to be using the CBD. So it's going to be a little higher in my system. For one. And for two. Come January. I'm using I'm using the weed in replace of the fucking Soma's anyway. So. Ah uh, shit. I just got it in my fucking eye. God damn it.